Right, let's quickly check these chickens. I'm pretty sure we need to give them some feed in their box. I'm pretty sure it is empty. Leave that open, actually. All right, we'll get the Merlot. I've got some. I've got a big feed sack in a little shed here, so we'll go and grab that. And then what we're doing is David's been ploughing dice fields, so we've got to go and break that down with the power harrow. Oh, he is here. What are you doing? Oh, I just changing some shear bolts. Look a bit dodgy. I got a bit of a field left to do. The first one's done, though, John. So you can just uh, get up there whenever you're ready. Sounds very professional. Oh, I, I am the professional type now, ain't I? Yeah, if you say so. Um, I'm just gonna feed me chickens. I'll meet you up there. Right now, I've uh, I'm done anyway, so I'll, I'll be on my way. All right, I'll see you in a bit then. All right. He seems too keen. That obviously means he's enjoying himself, which is dangerous. <laughs> David enjoying himself. I had to give him a right telling off last week though with with our new. New uh, arrival to the village. Didn't didn't react to him very well at all, did he? Let's grab this sack then. The cow should be good until this afternoon. Although they're probably. Probably do a, a tidy up, actually. But that's an afternoon job. Rather than a now job. So Di originally wanted canola in his fields, and it's obviously too late to be putting rape in there, isn't it? <laughs> So he's going to be having a cereal of some description. Right. That'll do that. Oh, I suppose I better close it. The things I do for you, chickens. I never wanted you in the first place. So we'll sling these away. Oh, steady on. What is it's got twisted on there? No need for that. Oh, well, we'll be addressing that at a later date. Oh, it's got stuck. Yep. Yeah. I'll save that one for another day. Merlot can stay in there today. Uh, we want the case. The mighty case. Hello, my dear. Let's get you. Actually, what I might do is I might give you a quick wash off. Just a quick one. Get those windows. That one. That should do it. Right. 
we can get the power arrow on and then we'll go and see if we can catch David up I don't know how far he's got with the second field though so it is possible that we might not I do like this machine though and it, goes, it works really well on the back of the case You, you. I'll sort that. Actually, the height should be fine. The height should be fine since the last time I used it. Right. Let's go do some. Stuff. doing too badly for David <laughs> yeah right so we want this one then could have opened the gate for me couldn't he that shouldn't take too long to get through actually Sneaking in. What took you so long? Well, fed chickens, then decided to wash me tractor. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. Not like a clean tractor, though. Yeah, quite right. If only you would listen to yourself. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? You've done this at a funny angle, haven't you? Oh, aye, I, um, I started wrong side, didn't I? Well, I can see that. I'd rather go up this long side. Aye, well, you have to make the most of it. Make the most of it. Seriously. I have to do it the same way you did, won't I? Oh, aye. You'll be right, though, John. You love a bit of work, you do. I don't mind the work. It's... Doing things... Ass about front, innit? Listen to you getting a bit, getting a bit fruity. Yeah, well, you do it to me. Ah, right now. Well, have fun. Yeah, have fun. I will have fun, actually. Let's get on with it. Come on, Case, you can do this. I love this tractor. Look at that. Nothing like a bit of groundwork going on around the village. A sense of satisfaction when you look at something like that.
Well, let's get cracking, shall we? This last little triangle, and then we just got to go around and do the headland. So we'll, I think we'll drive down there because we haven't got to do that other edge, have we? Where have David's gone? I didn't realize how late it was. It's nearly six o'clock. Time fly when you're having fun. Didn't expect it to take that long, but anyway. That's how it did. I gotta get back to dude cows. Should have done them before I left then, shouldn't I? There you go. Lesson learned, John. Lesson learned. He ain't moaning on the radio, so he's either gone home or he's fallen asleep. I, I'm gonna go with he's fallen asleep. He was not happy about that, that Daniel fell in there. That was funny. Who brings a lawnmower for trailer though? Seriously. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh that's something I would expect someone like Archie to do, actually. I'm thinking that that would be alright. I haven't seen Archie for months and months, actually. I wonder what he's... Well, I don't, I don't actually want to know what he's doing, but... I would have heard if he wasn't alive, somebody would have celebrated. Somebody would have celebrated. Well. I do like a bit of blacking. Blacking the fields off. I do like that. Very much. I'm not sure Die was too happy about the whole cereal thing. However, he does get straw from it, so you get the cereal and the straw as opposed to just the rapeseed oh what's this what some sort of convention is it Go and see what this lot's 
doing over here? Some kind of tea party, is it? Oh, hi, John. You're just having a chin wag, you know, as it is. You finished? All right, look at it. Lovely job that is. You should employ me as a as a ploughing man. You are the ploughing man. Oh, <laughs> hi. That's right, I am too. How you doing then, George? Oh, I see there, John. All right, isn't it? All right. That's good stuff. So, what? What is? Uh, what's? What's the topic? The hot topic of today? Ah, well, he's just talking about that. That weirdo. That Daniel. Right. George was saying he's some kind of ultra penner. An ultra penner. Ah, see, John, ultra penner. He's very, 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 is that right? So what is an ultra penner? Well, I reckon it's something to do with penmanship. You know, like writing and all that. How on earth can you know penmanship and not know that ultra penner is not a real thing? Hey, ultra penner. Entrepreneur? What's one of them then? I, I just, you, you astound me. You astound me. Oh, John, what is this, sir? Uh, what you know you was talking about? Jesus, where did you come from? Oh, I was walking the dog. Walking the dog? You was in France. When did you get back? Oh, say, oh, about three hours ago. Jesus, you scared the... Jesus out of me. Oh, I, I saw him walking up. He was behind you. Well, you could have given me fair warning, eh? Oh, I, I thought it was funny. Yeah. I think you're funny. Oh, I am. I, I got all the jokes. You know that. No, I don't want anything to do with your jokes. Anyway. He's an ultra... He's a, you've got me saying it now. He's an entrepreneur. Oh, I. And, uh... That... That's nothing to do with penmanship, mate. Right now. So what is it then? Well, I don't know. I don't know what he does. But he's like um, somebody who's thought of some kind of weird and wonderful thing. You know. An inventor then. I suppose if it makes it easier for you to understand. All right. That does make it. That does make it quite easy. <sighs> George. What do you know about this guy then? Oh well, see, he, he's uh, he come from London. He, 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 that's about it. He comes from London, and that's about it. Oh ah. Pierre, what do you reckon? Oh Jean, on your bonos, they're nothing but trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're nothing but trouble. Oh, we, oui. we, oui, we, oui, Jean. <laughs> oh, what are you boys there talking about then? Oh God, it's like it's. Oh, I just you're you're all coming out of the woodwork today. Well, I thought I'd bring you all a cup of tea. Well, that's the best thing I've heard during this whole conversation. Oh well, come along then, boys. Let's go and have a cup of tea. And drown my sorrows. You got any whiskey, Di? Oh, I reckon they have there, John. <laughs>